amrui galei saba chivinga. Your host presenting to you what we call the parent. Because some of the people keep on complaining. Parent stock. Don't expect the parent to be having feathers that you have to understand. Because the mounting of the hens or the cocks removes these feathers from the back. And once you tell me that I want the parent, and I give you those ones, you see that some of the feathers are not on their back. That means that they are laying span or laying stage for breeding. It is ready to hatch the one day old chicks. Because when we are breeding these chicks, we put their cocks in them for mounting them to get the fertilized eggs. But I fail to understand why some people are good at complaining and lamenting. Parent stock, you don't expect these hens to be having feathers at their back. Whenever you see a cock mounting the hen, Due to the nails, removes their feathers at the back. That means the fertilized eggs, 90% will be fertile. Because as the eggs, you see them there, in their nests, 95% are fertilized. 95% are fertilized. Because what you see, on the hands, it means that every hand is mounted and the eggs laid are fertilized. But the people, I don't know, to trust that where you are going to buy the fertilized eggs, you need to see the farm it is of, how the hens look like. And once you see that all the hens are Feathered fully, yet they have the cocks. Don't expect those hens to lay eggs when the eggs are fertilized. No. When we talk of the parent stock, you should look at the, cock, the hens. How do they look like? Do they all have feathers at their back? If they don't have, then that means that that hen, the, lay, the eggs it lays are infertile. <laughs> Which we call as Kiria eggs. So, our viewers, Living Agriculture, it is our channel. Oh, my channel to train every farmer or every viewer to know what you want. Why should I say that you know what you want? Because of some of the people don't differentiate what you need and what you want. But here, our coming to the farm is to give you what you need. Because our mandate is to share what we do, to share what we need you to share, to share what we need you to do in fighting poverty. These are local chicks, by the way. At first you saw the layers, you saw the broilers, you saw the croilers, you saw the rainbow, you saw the sasso. But in now we are in a local, typical local. No cross. Some people fake. They tell you that you are going to get local when the cocks are croiders. When the hens are croiders. So they crossbreed. 
but here what you are going to get here typical local chicks no fraud in that the orders you make if you want a typical local ogenda kufuna local if you want croiders we give you croiders if you want sasso we give you sasso we don't cross breed because we need there are some people who don't need croiders who don't need sasso if somebody tells you that i want local must be local as local so viewers we thank you for liking us but what we promise you in 2023 is to give you what you automatically need to rear bobo yagala kuroira anga tukuwa kuroira if you want local we give you typical local somebody may ask we have a variety of breeds even in local we have the black we have the naked one we have the guinea type we have the gray the brown all these breeds here there is no crossing in them there is no inter mixing of breeds local remains local croiders remains croiders sasso remains sasso so the parent when we talk of parent stock this is the breed we rear for laying eggs to hatch one day all the chicks you need to understand that mobuze bitali yo how can lea how can the parent have no feathers please it's not having feathers that means that the leg, the eggs it lays are fertile and once you get the chicks which have fully all the feathers the eggs it lays are not fertilized but what you can see here it shows that when you make an order of one day old chicks when you make an order of fertilized eggs we will serve you the eggs you need not what we want you to give you but we give you what we need you to get if it is fertilized eggs you can see them in the nest you can have a look at the female what we call the hens how they look like engoko zogendo kutwala purely local no crossing them the eggs you want are fully fertilized the percentage is 95% in production so viewers if it comes to local birds honestly we rare local birds if it comes to layers these exotic layers we import them from Belgium and Netherlands but for local as local we breed them from here and the croiders where we started we breed them because the import charges are so high and expensive that's why we start such any time we are organizing a workshop to treat to to, to 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 train the farmers at the farm here what you need you register and once we say that we are going to train on the farm the entrance is a must and once you come here to train at the farm here one accept to be treated to be disinfected kubate tumanyije muva two once we train here each piece of chicken it is at 15 no compromise no bargaining now <clears throat> the formula for feeding the parent stock 
here is different. Why? One, the breeders mash, it is for the parent stock. <clears throat> The breeder's mash is, is different from the layer's mash. And somebody may ask me to get the Breeders, these are the parent stock. We get eggs for hatching. And the quantity of feeds is different from those commercial layers. Because we need to feed them the feeds which can let them lay eggs when they are not infected. Because some of the eggs laid, they lay eggs when they are already sick and they start dying in a period of one week to two weeks. So, we shall see the formula for mixing the breeder's mash. That's what we need. One, if we are to be using broken maize, 100 kilograms of broken maize we mix with 16 kilograms of concentrate only 16 100 16 calcium for breeders is reduced from 10 kilograms to 7 to enable the chicks hatch from their eggs but once you put it too much calcium, they will not hatch. That's why you find that there are very many infertile eggs, I mean unhatched chicks, fertilized, but too much shells or calcium disable them from hatching. Every concentrate farmers and viewers and the feed seed dealers don't deceive your customers that the concentrate have salt. It will have zero. Make sure you add salt. We have two types of salts. We have the iodine and the brown salt. Use whichever is viable. You can use the brown salt or the iodine. Calcium, we have variety of caliciums. We have the shells. We have the calcium, like a salt. We have those ones. Lime. And lime, we have two types of lime. Stock feed. We have the white one, and we have the black one. What would you desire to use? Use whichever you get. But make sure the quantity of lime is reduced from 10 to 7 kilograms for every 100 kilograms of broken maize or maize bran. Even you can use the rotten breads. Go to the supermarkets there. All rotten breads. Take them. Dry them very well. The nutrients which are in the rotten breads, honestly, is 100% for feeding your chicken and even your piggery. So viewers, 2023, let it be a year of prosperity. Let it be a year for working. More so, gain them local. If you're going to local. Now the hens you see here, or you are viewing now, they are just two years. Just two years, but they are still laying. Once they reduce, when the feathers are all off, we give them other type of feeds, the growers, Melissa Quay. As you see this one, the feathers are now trying to regrow, meaning that in a period of just one month, it will resume having all its feathers. So don't fear. The one you see that it is featherless, that it doesn't lay eggs. That's the wrong mentality. Even if the feathers are off, we feed them and they restart growing feathers. So, we have clients who complain. Ah, ah, 
You have given me the chicks, we have no air, feathers. So they are very old. The lifespan of local chicken is 5 to 15 years in production. It does not matter whether they have feathers or they don't have. The loss of feathers here is due to the mounting of cocks. So the viewers, I thank you for viewing. But everything you are seeing here, all the diseases on this farm are treated using herbal medicine we make. Tetulina mudagala zunguri na. No chemical medicine at the farm here. Now once you feel that you would desire to be getting this medicine, honestly, the numbers you see there, you call him. Don't call me. Let me remind you, honestly. For the medicine of piggery, rabbitry, livestock, and hens, I request you, you should call Busulwa's number, not mine. And I always give it to you, and I will continue giving it to you. So, it's just a matter of calling. 0758-16-19-58 is called Busulwa, is the farm, I mean is the manager, at the office there, don't call me. Call me for treatment and consultation. But for the medicine, call him. 0758-16-19-51. If you are on MTN, call him on 0783-00-0783. 73 for the supply and the deliver of the medicine. But if it's a treatment, uh -uh, the number is mine. But if it is for chicks, you can use that very number. Living agriculture is the source. Motemi Brian is the manager of whatever you are viewing here. And for the services, other services like the medicine, the feeds, and the consultation, call with Surwa. We'll serve you best. We thank you for liking living agriculture. These are the type of feed drinkers I normally tell you. It contains 10 liters. You put once and leave there. These are the other types of feeders. They are metallic. And we have those ones of plastic. What you need to do, it is just a matter of calling. How do you get them? So viewers, portrait, it is an enterprise you can go into, but of what breed? Local, layers, croilers, sasso, rainbow, or broilers. But if you are to be going into Portrait for breeding, go for local and croilers and the sasso. I thank you for watching our video. I thank you for liking our videos. This farm is a breeder's farm for breeding and hatching one day all the chicks local. I remind you. If it means local birds, this is the source of local birds. It's a matter of booking. You don't need to know what it requires. Booking takes you four weeks to get your chicks. Thank you for watching, liking Living Agriculture, and liking our videos. Thank you very much. 2023, let it be a year of prosperity in poultry farming. Thank you very much.